This is the sugar war. Which one is better? You got evaporated cane juice which, versus brown sugar, turbinado. Which, bringing it in like this. There's uh, these are both vegan. You know, I don't know if you can see on there, but that V with the heart never wants to focus on that. That's vegan, and then this one right here, it's got the V. Let's see if we can get it to focus. See, so this one ingredients: turbinado, raw cane sugar. This one's got a little bit of a coarser, coarser grit to it. This one's a little finer ground. Um, main disadvantage: this one doesn't like to dissolve as well in the water bottle. Florida Crystals goes in pretty easy. Um, downside here: this one was 3.69 at Kroger for like two for two pounds, and this one is one pound eight ounces, and I think this was 3.50. So you lose eight ounces if you go with this bag. Um, you might get a little extra mineralization, minerals or something. I'm not sure about that, but both the same. This one, let me just show you the ingredient, only ingredient, organic evaporated cane juice. You know, this one, this one might not be organic. This one's actually not organic, but it does say vegan. Sometimes they, uh, when they process sugar, they process it through charred animal bones. Maybe I'll stick a a clip in just to illustrate that. But yeah, um, for the water bottle, this is probably the better choice. And for the value, this one has a little more flavor just because it's brown sugar. So there you go. That's the deal. Florida Crystals wins. In fact, all of these are basically just sugar, whether dark, light, raw, or turbinado. There are only two health-promoting sweeteners, only two sweeteners that are actually good for you, molasses and date sugar. Healthiest sugars on the list, date sugar and molasses. Let's talk about these. Date sugar, from what I understand, has a tendency to clump up and thicken when you add it to water so not the best choice for putting it in a water bottle for a sports drink and at 1370 for a 24 ounce package that's about ten dollars more than what I paid for two pounds of sugar uh, check Amazon and it's pretty much the same price over here so that's expensive and molasses molasses is a liquid but I haven't used molasses in a long time I have a feeling that it's the thick and syrupy consistency of it is not gonna dissolve so great into water or water bottle um, you know maybe if you start it up shake it up you might be able to get it to work but it's also got kind of a bitter and sweet flavor so I'm, I'm not sure that that would be particularly good uh, if I'm if I'm using this as kind of a sports drink purpose. And again, at twelve forty five, twelve dollars forty five cents for fifteen ounces, you know, molasses and date sugar are really in a separate price bracket, a uh, premium price bracket, far ahead of what you would pay for for sugar. And I don't think that either of these are ideal for the purpose of a sports drink uh, if you want to bake you could you could find some ways to put these incorporate these into baking or smoothies uh, but for just sports drink which is the main purpose you know I'm basically just making my own Gatorade I, I don't know about electrolytes but Gatorade is pretty much just sugar and water and food colorant and that's really all I'm going for um, on the bike just enough to you know Re replenish the glycogen in the middle of your ride so you can ride further is really the goal of the sports drink in this in this particular purpose so I, I think sugar is still the best bet and I'm sticking with Florida crystals on this one for the time being what do you guys think let me know